good morning everyone <laughs> so it's two o'clock in the morning now and uh, I'm all packed in the car ready to set off to the next cap to bank UK social and we're heading down to Walton Ponds part of festival on Walton fisheries down in Somerset um, it's not far from Glastonbury um, it's about a four hour drive we've worked out so I'm gonna go down pick up my mate Liam uh, and get cracking at the road and meet all the guys down there um, and I'll keep you posted how the session goes hopefully we get some footage of some fish on the bank um, there is an absolute beast of a storm due to it us um, tonight and through to Saturday um, big winds coming through um, big low pressure um, lots of rain so fingers crossed the fish turn on, get on the munch, getting ready, you know, putting the weight on for winter. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's been planned for a while. Uh, there's very little information out there. Um, there's kind of a, a group of guys who who fish it who, you know, shared some some details with us. They've been kind because it's not a lake I can go and have a walk around. Obviously, being that far away, um, so I've been on social media and um, tried to get as much info as I can without pissing everyone off, do you know, I don't want people to give the spots away um, I'm not asking about baits or anything like that, I'll decide on my baits, I'll decide on my rigs um, I'll get the deeper out, I'll, I'll have a lead about, we've got 48 hours so I've got to try and find my spots um, the good thing about this lake is that it doesn't book out every single swim um, so if it's not working or I see fish in another area and there's no one fishing there then we can have a move if we need to. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll get down there, let you know a little bit more about how I'm going to approach it when I actually see the lake. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed, I'll see you soon. Alright everyone, so we've, we've got to the lake, we've got everything set up now. It's 11 o'clock, I've got three rods out, I've had a bream. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you the spots in a bit and uh, have a little look around the lake. Yeah, but see, I've got to say, we're at Walton, Walton Ponds, part of uh, Festival and Walton Fisheries. Um, it's a cracking looking venue. Loads of snaggy margins, overhanging trees. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, it's, it's windy, low pressure, raining, overcast. Uh, we're <coughs> apparently we're on for a bit of a storm tomorrow. So hopefully the fish get on a bit of a feed and we can get a few on the bank but I've got to say it's looking really really good um, feeling good getting liners on my middle rod um, so I had a lead around when I first got here got the bivvy up because it was absolutely chucking down I've had a, a little lead around it's really choddy near the, the island as you'd expect with all the overhanging trees and uh, the, the leaves falling um, so I've just opted for solid bags <coughs> for that one um, just so I can I know a rig's presented and well, there's quite a few fish just topping over that rod as well, which is uh, good. Uh, middle rod's on a runny, and I've just literally put a little mesh bag on there with about five or six uh, boilers around it. Trying a new bait today, the Bait Solutions uh, Pineapple Tigers. Uh, it's seen a lot of good reviews on it. Um, a lot of nice fish being caught on it at the minute. So I'm giving that a try, matching with the, the Pineapple Tigers pop-ups with a bit of the matching slime as well. Looks really good. Uh, and then left hand rod is just really tight down my left hand margin really um, nice again overhanging tree <coughs> started feeding that as soon as I got here that spot and I've left it to be the last rod to go in and I've seen a bit of fizzing over there um, but it, you know th there is a few nuisance fishing here there is a few bream so we might have to get through a few of them before we get the carp on the bank um, I heard some celebrations before about 10-15 minutes ago I think one eyed carp are weighing uh, managed to land a carp, he's fishing uh, the opposite end of the lake to me actually on the back of the wind um, so well well done to him hopefully we'll you know we'll get to see some pictures and some footage of that so head over to one eyed carper on youtube um, on facebook um, and you can check that out yeah so i'll log off for now i'm gonna go and have a catch up see what's going on um, and then yeah hopefully we hear an alarm scream off soon see you later
All right, guys. That's so why we've got a, a slight break in the rain. Uh, it's still coming down, but not as heavy of it as it has been for most of the day. Have a little look at the, the swim out here. It's got a nice island just there. Uh, got a solid bag just going off the island around here. One out in open water, about halfway out, and then one nice and tight down here in this little margin. Uh, two solid bags, one to the island, one down here, and the Ronnie rig just with a few catapults are boily over the top. But it's looking good. Liam uh, had a nice run earlier on, just didn't get to his rod in time, and it snagged him up on the island, ended up coming snapping off. Um, but it's good signs, signs of fish, fish biting. So yeah, we'll keep trying, we'll keep working, have a bit of food and get warm in a bit. And uh, keep everyone posted. Fingers crossed. Alright guys, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning now. First night's out of the way. Yeah, I did set my alarm for 5, but after that drive yesterday, I've just slept straight through it. I've not even heard anything. Um, and I was up quite a bit last night, but not catching fish. <laughs> I was get, getting constant savage liners. Uh, about ten, half ten, uh, I heard a, a massive fish crash in the back bay, right behind my pivot. Uh, so I'd have been an idiot to just be lazy and stay in bed. So I got up, I brought one of the rods in, uh, put a fresh solid bag on, flicked that out in the bay behind me. Um, I'm not joking, f a few times in the night I was just, I was just getting savage liners, um, big drop backs. So I was up, down, checking it, uh, recasting it, fresh bait. Uh, anyway, in the end it's not gone, but it's definitely fish in that back bay, so I'm going to keep one rod out there for now. Two rods in the main body of the lake, um, still on the same spot, so I'm not going to move them yet. Um, risk disturbing the water at, at bite time. Um, and yeah, I don't think anybody else has produced a fish, other than the one I mentioned earlier that way and had yesterday morning. So I think morning is a, a good time to target the fish. So I'm going to put the kettle on, have a brew, have some breakfast, and if anything happens I'll let you know. <coughs> so I just thought I'd do a quick catch up with everyone. Uh, it's 2 o'clock, now on the second day, Saturday, and I've just been playing gilly. So my friend Liam, who's at the peg just to my right, uh, lost one yesterday. It's absolutely devastated. Um, we just landed a, a lovely scaly mirror. Uh, so I went over, helped in net it, took some pictures. So, <coughs> with his permission, uh, I'll double check later, but I'll post some pictures of that. It's a cracking looking scaly mirror, really good condition. Um, I don't think it's the biggest of the trip so far, but he's in contention now. He's lost one, caught one, and he's got some spots rocking. So, hopefully, he has a few more. I'm just not getting any signs, me. Um, so I've got the two rods still in the main body of the lake. <coughs> I've actually put six spots, uh, spawns over my left hand rod in open water, full of pellet, boily crumb and krill. See if I can tempt some fish in to, to have a bite of that. And then I've actually changed my right hand rod to a bottom bait now on a German, uh, just with two 10 mil boilies on, um, and just a scattering uh, three boilies around it. And then I've just got the solid bag to the bear behind me. Um, again, just a couple of catapults of, of pellet across that. We'll just keep trying. I don't think there's anything else I can do really to try and attempt to bite. It's just if the fish come into the area and take the hook. Because it is slow, it's hard conditions. It's not stopped raining so far today. Um, so who knows, you know, Wayne lost one about an hour ago. So they could be getting on the munch a bit now. But this time yesterday was absolutely dead, so it's a good sign. I can't say I'm feeling confident because I just, I don't know, over there in a couple of liners that came earlier, that's it, I've not had anything else. So we'll keep trying. <coughs> well, it's getting to that time on the second day. Can only mean one thing takeaway. At least I've got something to look forward to because the fishing is hard, there's literally no signs. Um, I've, looked, I've walked around the full lake, um, no one's getting any beeps, no one's getting any indication, 
no fizzing. I mean, it's, it's just not stopped burning either. I'm absolutely drenched. Past the point occurring now. Just got some nice food, get warm. See what happens. Hope for a night bite. Just absolutely praying that it's not going to be a blank. I'm not counting them too green. It's not good enough. I'll put the effort in. I want a better reward. <coughs> All right. Well, last chance of a bite. It's the second morning, about four o'clock, and we've got one in the net. Let's have a little look. Right, well, it's five o'clock now in the morning, um, the Sunday, Sunday morning to so the last morning of the trip. Um, <coughs> as you know, it's been a bit of an hard graft and I've been getting played by bream, including a, a PB bream, which I think was the third on the bounce. <laughs> Absolute unit of a bream, um, but still not what I want. Um, I did actually take a picture of this one, but not holding it. You'll not see a picture of me holding a bream. Uh, but it deserved a picture in the net because it was massive. <coughs> anyway, uh, gone to bed just thinking that the whole weekend you know, after travelling over 200 miles is just going to be a bream weekend. Um, anyway, the the effort has resulted in a bit of reward because I've worked hard. I've been working my spots, rain, 40, 50 mile an hour winds. Um, and then what I'd done yesterday, the rod on the back bay, I've <coughs> just been feeding up little and often, putting a solid bag on the spot. That's the one that's ripped off and I'm absolutely over the moon, especially with it being that rod. Um, lovely looking uh, mirror carp, give a right old scrap, trying to get me in the, in the reeds and <coughs> I think the bank's kind of undercut so it kept trying to dart under the bank. Uh, but we've got it in the net in the end, we've got a nice picture, um, night time bites, happy days, um, all caught again on the uh, ever fearful carp to bank solid bag setups with the uh, the braid, the carp to bank size 6 curve shank hook, <coughs> uh, the PVA stems and aloe aqua pellets, a little pink, uh, pink fruit wafter on. That's done the job. Um, it's also the one that got me the bream on, but that was on the other side of the lake. So at the minute, I've still got the left hand rod out in open water. Um, that's on a runny. And I've actually gone for an inch stiff rig tied to the island now just because of the, all the trod. I made that change late yesterday. So I'm just going to wait now. It's five o'clock. I should get some sleep ready for the long drive home, but. I'm still buzzing. I'm not going to be able to get to sleep yet. Um, I had my alarm set for half five anyway. I've got another half an hour and my alarm would have been going off. So what I'll probably do is wait for the light to come up, see if there's any signs, have a look at the water, see, see what's going on. If I'm happy with everything, don't need to change anything, I'll get a couple of hours sleep before we have to pack up at 10 o'clock. Uh, but no, I'm happy. It's not a blank. Um, and yeah, anything else happens, I'll let you guys know.